guys, on today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to fix this problem with installing that you may have on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Now, this works with any device that you have, okay, no matter which one it is, as long as it's iOS 9. Even iOS 8 works pretty much the same way. So, um, the first thing that you guys should do, for example, here I have my Google stuck, okay, that app is stuck, but this works with any app. Uh, so, right now it's stuck on installing. Some of you may be stuck on updating or any other message. Whatever it is, the first thing that you guys should try is just tapping on it. So most of you probably did that already, tried to pause it, and then just tapping on it again. Also on your, um, right here, on your App Store, you guys may have gone already to your App Store and tried to update it from there, right? Or pause it. So you can look up your app and pause it from there and then continue it or try to reinstall it right there. So if you guys already tried that, I'm assuming you did that, this is the last type of fixing, okay? So it's deleting the app so you can re-download it, okay? So what we're gonna do is go right into your settings. Under your settings, what I want you guys to go into is general, okay? So just go right into general, and from there, um, you guys will see storage, yep, storage and iCloud usage. So let's just click right there and then manage storage, which is your third option. From there, we should see a lot of apps. So here you're gonna look for that app that's bugging you. Usually the app um, won't have the icon itself, it will just be a white icon. So we're gonna look out for that. And let's just go down until we see Google, which uh, will be a white icon. So there we go. So see as Google Maps is a white icon, so what I want you guys to do is just tap right there and you guys are, are going to see the option to delete app. So at this point, let's delete app, delete it, and it's going to delete it, okay? So this is the last resort that you guys have, this is the last thing that you guys should do. Um, not that any information is going to be lost, you still may have an iCloud backup of it, or the app, like Google, uh, they keep their own backup anyway, so you don't really need an iCloud backup for this app just in case. So, uh, to re-download it, obviously, right here is Google. So right here we see it empty, right? And nothing's gonna work, that's okay. All we have to do is re-download it, okay? Because you guys won't see it here. Um, usually after doing this, I restart my phone and then the app is completely gone. But you guys could skip that step, sure, why not? And try it out, just go into your app store and re-download that app. Um, once again, it is better if you restart your phone because then it's gonna properly work. But I'm just gonna do this just to show you guys that you could maybe skip that step of restarting your phone, which what I mean by restart is just holding your um, power button up here and your home button at the bottom of your phone, okay? Uh, if you have an iPhone 6, it's gonna be on the side, okay? Uh, so Google Maps, so let's look that up. And we're gonna download it again. And this time it should work. If it keeps getting stuck, then we might have to restore your phones if you really need that app. Um, sometimes there's problems with the app itself and that's why it's not installing. Other than that, you guys could get that problem with the app installing or updating. Uh, it's pretty common actually with phones or, or iPads or iPod touches. Uh, it just happens sometimes a little glitch with it and that's why it's not installing correctly or something's going on. Sometimes an, uh, an update it's not really compatible with your phone so that's why you're getting minor glitches with it. Other than that guys, you guys should be fine by now. Like I said, always try to restart your phone or just skip that step and go right into downloading it but it may not work right away. Uh, in this case it did work so we're all good. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.